whoa shit just woke up guys i need to wake up why because i have another amazing video for you guys today yes it is sunday in this video we are again going to start with the bitcoin price because you guys showed the love yesterday by watching my video even longer than the days before we are going to talk about what is happening which trend lines to keep an eye on which support which resistance to keep an eye on um, i will give you a small hint because i'm going to compare the situation now to the 2016 situation after the halving we are going to look at the total market cap which level we are which level we should go to which ma lines do we find support on we are going to talk a little bit about visa filing a new cryptocurrency to uh, destroy <laughs> the fiat currencies which is really cool visa thank you uh, bitwala that is going to give you 4.3 percent on your bitcoins in yearly uh, interest and of course a little bit more about jk rowling and her twitter storm because she is now almost depressive because of all the tweets she's receiving from bitcoin community but there is another bestseller author jk that i'm going to share in this video that is investing in bitcoin and that understands bitcoin so just message this writer author and ask him for his opinion check this video it's going to be a beautiful one on a new beautiful beach that i will show you here on Copangan, thailand <laughs> morning guys welcome on this new beautiful beach secret tong lang beach last year i got this beautiful musical drum healing session on the beach here strategy of starting with the Bitcoin price really worked guys it paid off I can see this in the YouTube analytics in average you guys watched 50% of my last video let this be a coincidence the first eight minutes of the video was about the price I am going to start again with the Bitcoin price today the Bitcoin price is moving between 8 and 10 K the last couple of weeks so this is what we call a range range is some uh, area with a support and with a resistance and it moves between these two lines the support is around 8600 now and i think the resistance is around 10k we have been knocking this 10k door now for a few times and this is the most important resistance to break if we want to start this huge bull run soon we need to break this upper line of resistance, this 10,500-ish line. Yes, there was a huge downtrend from 2017 downwards to now. So we are already knocking that door of that trend line. We are already broke that trend line a little bit and came back to it now. So we are knocking this door. Just imagine Bitcoin being this idiot that is coming to your door and starts to knock on your door. And you don't open this door but this idiot keeps knocking and you still don't open this door and this kid idiot keeps knocking knocking doorbell ringing making it like almost not possible for you to accept it anymore and then you just give up and you say oh my god open the door for this idiot and then he comes in with whole his family friends and the whole community behind it and crashes your door and do a huge party in your house this is what bitcoin now is doing bitcoin is knocking this 10k door one time two times now we are going to test it the third time maybe even the fourth time but there will be a time that these bearish people that are now protecting this door will say oh my god i give up let those motherfucking bullish bitcoin bastards crash our door and put the price up and we will step back and again try to defend a bitcoin uh, door somewhere in the future where we can take over and make bitcoin go bearish again this is exactly what now is happening so it's an exciting game to observe you just need to keep an eye on these two lines 10,500 8,600 there in between we will be moving and i think really think that we are going to break this and you know go for the next bull run the next one half year yes i do agree that if we don't break 10,600 10,000 now this line and we will 
uh, pull back from this we could pull back all the way down to 8k and if 8k doesn't hold we could even pull back to 6k but we are not there now we are now knocking this door hello let us in let us crash your door let us crash the resistance and this is what the bitcoin price is also showing us and guys i'm going to try and climb across these um, rocks i would just want to see what is there i will keep talking while i'm doing so because the beach is very small as you could see i'm already at the end of the beach but let's see if we can extend the walk a little bit by climbing these rocks to see what is over there to be clear guys the same thing has happened after the 2016 halving after the 2016 halving oops um, we started to move in a range we didn't crash directly yes the same amount we crash now like the 20 percent from 10k to 8k but then we started to move in this range it took like a few months this uh, range movement before we could break out and start this beautiful bull run in 2017 so it's nothing strange what is happening this is all one big trading game oh my god this is a beautiful cliff so just um, just keep watching the market if you are heavily invested wow i have a beautiful view um, i will share it with you guys this is the view from here on the cliffs beautiful small beach i need to admit there is beautiful snorkeling a few sea turtles in this part of the sea um, that you could see when you snorkel so it's beautiful up there if you look home up there and if you see this greenhouse over there this greenhouse over there that is where we stayed last year so for the guys that remember utopia it's that house upstairs there where we stayed last year we can look at the total market cap of um, crypto i think the total market cap now is about 260 billion dollar yeah something like this and i think this is also a, a good amount of support it's a very positive sign the goal of the total market cap should be about 300 billion dollar so this is the target and as long we are moving um, on the daily chart moving above the 100 and 200 daily day moving averages everything is very positive in my opinion you know this is a huge line of support so we have the total market cap support we have the 200 and the 100 day moving average as support yes if you look at the bigger picture the huge trend from 2017 to now, till now we are still like bearish we are still going down and yeah, we're still lower highs like 20,000 14,000 10,000 so this is exactly the reason why we need to break this 10,000 we need to make a higher high and a higher low and then we need to create a new channel or range upwards and this channel will bring us to new highs and will bring the total market cap maybe even to 300 billion dollar again in the period we move in this range with bitcoin 8 10 8 10 8 10 this is also seen as the market is like stabilizing when bitcoin is stabilizing you need to remember there is a opportunity for alts to break out every time bitcoin goes up alts won't go up at the same time with the same amount of uh, percentage every time bitcoin will go down alts will also go down but every time bitcoin moves in the range sideways alts have the opportunity to you know catch up with bitcoin because litecoin for example is still now trading around 43 dollars litecoin has been trading around like 80 dollars or something in the last few months so now that bitcoin starts to move sideways in this range maybe litecoin can catch up and come above to 60 dollars again and start to move in that range ethereum now fell down to 200 dollars maybe ethereum can go back and claim 235 dollars and start to act in this range before they go into the huge bull run and ethereum will go to maybe with 300 dollars again and litecoin will also maybe go to 150 dollars again these are just numbers out the top of my head so just showing you how it works if bitcoin goes sideways moves in the range there is opportunity for altcoins to go up let's go back some more news i have some beautiful news because now you could see visa visa just um, filed a patent for a new cryptocurrency that will 
uh, destroy the fiat currencies. The Visa really understood now the power of cryptocurrency. I don't know why they wouldn't uh, use... Oh, oh, okay. That was imbalance and imbalance, you know, always breaks your flip-flops. So now I need to repair my flip-flop. Give me a second. Uh, Havayana sent me some flip-flops that are really working and never break again. I'm lucky that this thing didn't break off now, but now you just push it through and ready. Flip-flops repaired, I can go again. I don't think this is bad because you know, Visa is also supporting the spending of Bitcoin through these Bitcoin debit cards. You know, there needs to be two types of money in the future. One type of money will be government's money. This is the money you now refer to as fiat. And the other type of money needs to be the people's money, which we nowadays refer to as cash. So this cash money, this one is going to disappear and this one is going to be replaced by Bitcoin and multiple other cryptocurrencies. Decentralized cryptocurrencies will be the people's money. The Visa, the, you know, even maybe the Libra or the digital US dollar or the digital Euro. These are being the governmental new cryptocurrencies. These are the ones that want to keep control on everything you do in life. So we just need to fight for our decentralized versions of these centralized digital currencies and we need to keep the power to the people by just supporting Bitcoin and all the other currencies like Litecoin, all those cryptocurrencies that want to support the peer-to-peer micropayments in a digital, uh, decentralized, unconfiscatable way. We need to support those. Oh yeah, guys, we celebrated Romain's birthday yesterday. We did it the way Romain wanted it. Romain wanted to have a very relaxed, family birthday no visitors nothing around because she's always like if everybody comes i am just working and serving and giving drinks i want a day for myself now so this is what we did the kids prepared a beautiful breakfast in the morning after this beautiful breakfast we drove to a beautiful beach it was like 45 minutes drive to the other side of the island it is a beautiful beach called Tong Nai Yai Pan Noi. It's a small beach town. And then we ended up after this beach, we drove back to this beautiful bar where Roman always wants to enjoy some vegetarian food. It is High Life Bar in Kopangan. It has a beautiful infinity pool where we could enjoy the beautiful sunset after it ended with a dinner and then we drove home where we were surprised because there were some presents on the table. Presents were left there by Mariam and Derek and all the kids. Thank you, Mariam and Dick, for this beautiful present and uh, just even being there while we weren't. Sorry, <laughs> but it was Romain, her choice. One more financial news, guys. Bitwalla, they call it the Neo Bank. This is one of the banks now that also supports Bitcoin. Um, it's a beautiful system and they now came out and they just told the market, guys, if you hold all your Bitcoins at Bitwalla, we will pay you 4.3% yearly. This is a very positive interest rate. This is the opposite of what the banks are trying to do. The banks are now probably going to promise you these beautiful negative interest rates where you need to pay interest to have money at your bank account. So I would you know, take all the money from your bank account and put it all on Bitwalla so you at least have 4.3% on a yearly base. So that's a little bit more than negative interest. And if you want to do really good, then just take your money from the bank, buy Bitcoins, hodl, and live a crypto lifestyle. Because at the end, I think it will outperform the fiat system and the banking system in a huge way the next couple of years. So that is just not a financial advice. This is just advice from a dude with a little bit experience in this life, being traveling already for four years, solely depending on cryptocurrency. So guys, don't see me as a financial advisor, see me as a life advisor with experience in the financial revolution, which is called Bitcoin. One more thing guys today, JK Rowling, you all saw her tweeting, please help me to understand what Bitcoin is. She was bombed. She was really bombed by messages. She was getting dizzy of it. She even responded, oh my God, I don't think I ever can go to Twitter without anybody being angry. I don't own Bitcoin. Just make sure you own Bitcoin because if you look at your bestseller writing friends, we have Robert Kiyosaki, the writer of Rich Dad Poor Dad. This is a best-selling book and this guy is now predicting 
Bitcoin will go to $75,000 in the next couple of years. So, Mrs. J.K. Rowling, if you are watching this video, please understand that your writer and author friends are also investing in Bitcoin. And why? Because they know this is going to be sort of a store of value for the next couple of years while we are all fighting this huge worldwide economical crisis and where all the fiat systems are devaluating and where your money is just not safe anymore on the banks. So yes, I think if you just invest a little bit of Bitcoin, just do what Ellen told you, your friend Ellen told you, I own 0.25 Bitcoins. So just make sure you own the same amount as Ellen so you can even experience this beautiful roller coaster ride of Bitcoin because this could be something you could add to your new books. Beautiful story about this small guy that is going to travel the world and search for Bitcoins and preach Bitcoin adoptance with his family. Am I referring to myself? No. <laughs> that would be a wish, of course, that somebody writes a book. Oh no, I already wrote a book. You can see the link in the uh, description of the video, guys. <laughs> oh, Didi, you're talking again too much. Guys, that was all for today. Um, I wish you all a beautiful Sunday. I want to thank you so much for liking uh, all the videos, watching all the videos. We are almost there. We almost broke the 4K resistance that we need to have to start monetizing the videos. I think we'll break it on Monday. That's the birthday of my beautiful daughter, Jessa. She's, her birthday is 18 May. Again, thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button so you will be notified on every new video we make. And if you are even possible on this beautiful Sunday, please share some love by sharing this beautiful video again with all your friends out there so we get some more followers, more views, and so we can soon start to share this revenue from YouTube with poor people all over the world. And the opposite of poor people are the rich people and there is nothing negative about it because they need to be rich and they need to be poor pe people because then there is a difference where both are can fear for or fight for. But if you're talking about rich people, I'm going to show you now a villa on the end of this beautiful beach. We just walked below it, which is owned by Chanel. And Chanel is this beautiful cosmetic brand and they own this beautiful villa, the white one. I will show you now, guys. Look at this beautiful villa. It is that one. So next time, my daughter and her friends, all the women that started to follow us, we have now more than 7% women following us. Next time you buy some Chanel products, you know the profit of this beautiful lipstick you're buying is going into beautiful houses like this so they can spend some relaxing time on the beach in Thailand because they work hard all year long. Beautiful Sunday guys, see you tomorrow, bye. <laughs>